Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this looping animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So, if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. And if you are gonna like this video, then don't forget to hit that like button also. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'll call it as main animation. And this time with I'm going to choose 180 and height also 180. So basically we want this animation in square format. And frame rate is 30 and duration is also 30 second. And background color I'm going to choose white color and we will simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and we will hit on titles effects and like this. Now I'm going to select my ellipse tool. And for the stroke i'm going to choose black color and hit ok and simply double click on this so we will get this kind of circle over here let's increase the stroke to 40 pixels now let's select this uh, and we'll go to the ellipse ellipse path and we are going to create one keyframe at the size okay like this let's select this and hit the yoke so size as you guys can see it's 1080 let's make this proper 1000 right now like this select this and hit ctrl d press s uh, but if you can still see uh, we don't need to adjust uh, scale but we need to adjust size so i'll select this layer and i'll hit u because we have already created one keyframe on the size so let's decrease the size somewhere around like this okay like 910 so basically let's make this 900 only now select this hit ctrl d hit u we will make it again 800 select this hit ctrl d hit u let's make this 700 select this hit ctrl d hit u let's make this 600 and we need to reduce 100 each and every time so i'm gonna do that procedure 400 Let's make this 300, 200, and let's make this last one, which is 100. Okay, and after that, we are going to select these keyframes and we will simply delete that because we don't want that now. And we will hit loop. So, this is my first layer over here, which is this one. So, what I'm gonna do, I'll go inside this layer in contains. I'm going to go add and I'll choose trim part go to the trim path and let's make this end property 50 and i'm going to create one keyframe over here like this okay on offset now i'll select this trim path i'll hit ctrl c to copy i'll select all the remaining layers and i'll simply hit ctrl v and if i hit u now as you guys can see we are getting the offset keyframes for each and every one now because this is the uh, this is my uh, first layer and this is my last layer now alt click on the stopwatch i'm gonna apply time star let's say 100 uh, or let's say uh, 10 only so as you guys can see we are getting this kind of rotation now select this expression hit ctrl c to copy i'll select this ninth layer i'll hit alt and press ctrl v but this time instead of 10 i'm going to apply 20 on 8th layer i'll simply alt click again press ctrl v this time apply 30 again alt click on the 7th layer hit ctrl v this time apply 40 alt click on the 6th layer hit ctrl v this time apply 50 alt click over here hit ctrl v this time let's make it 60 alt click over here press ctrl v this time let's apply 70 okay alt click over here hit ctrl v this time let's make it 80 over here let's make it 90 and the first one i'm gonna make it 100 okay like this so as you guys can see we will get this kind of animation but this is slow uh, animation we will fix that later but basically this is uh, our animation for this one now uh, what i'm gonna do i'll select all of these layers 
in search option i'm going to type cap so this is going to show me the line cap option uh, i'm gonna maximize this uh, what we call timeline and instead of a uh, butt cap i'm going to choose round cap for each and every one like this okay so as you guys can see we will get something like this okay hit you hit you select all of them press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as stroke like this okay and hit go to the what we call uh, project window select this stroke and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and i'll bring this over here uh, and double click to open this now I'll select all of these layers and in stroke i'm going to choose 20 pixels like this and for the color i'm going to choose white color over here so we will get this kind of effect over here like this now after that select both the layers right click go to the time stretch i'm going to choose 40 so if you play this now we will get this animation a little bit faster like this okay now let's go inside this composition but as you guys can see this composition is ending over here but we want this animation in loop so what we are gonna do i'll simply hit ctrl k to open the project settings and over here we are going to increase the duration we'll just add let's say 10.30 seconds and hit ok zoom out a little bit select this layers by hitting ctrl a and let's increase the duration of it simply go to the stroke 2 also press ctrl k again just type 10.30 seconds over here hit ok increase the um, uh, i mean zoom out and select all of them and increase the duration let's go to the main animation select these two layers again and let's increase the duration of this one also and we will hit play and if you see at this um, now at this point let's hit page down button okay so at this point uh, i mean at this time as you guys can see my first 10 initial initial and last frame is same so i'll hit n at this point so this is my looping point after that this animation should repeat itself okay and then press ctrl y on your keyboard and create one solid background and i'll bring this over here and i'll lock this layer. then right click new and we will create one adjustment layer like this and press s for scaling option ending this and let's make this 50 okay uh, press Y on your keyboard to select anchor point uh, pen behind tool and by holding control I'll snap this anchor point at the edge of it and go to the align tab and we are going to align at bottom like this then we will increase the size on X axis and we will also increase the size of this one on Y axis also like this now select this adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and we are going to apply tint effect on it so simply double click to apply and you can swap these colors so as you guys can see we will get something like this okay so select this and hit now i'm gonna hit ctrl d to duplicate it and i'll press r for rotation and if i rotate it on let's say minus 90 degree so i'll get something like this okay let's right click new and we will create one null object select both the layers and we will make it apparent with this null one select this null one press r for rotation let's create one keyframe over here and at last i'm going to create let's say one or you can create two rotations also so if you see we will get this kind of animation okay and if you want then you can select this adjustment layer you can press r for rotation you can create one keyframe over here go to the last keyframe and you can again add one complete rotation for this one so what happened because of this we will get this kind of uh, weird looking animation also which looks quite cool uh, this is uh, totally up to you if you want then only you can follow this but uh, by using both better uh, your animation gonna be in the form of loop. so this is how you can create this type of weird looking animations inside of after effects and if you want to change the color again you can create another adjustment layers and you can apply that tint effect again and you can change the color of this one to red one or or you can either swap these colors and whatever you want to do but this is the method where you can create this kind of looping animation
so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned